Hello and welcome to another Battlefield 1 video. In this video, I'm going to show you a little update that we have seen on the Battlefield.com website regarding the multiplayer maps that were revealed just a few hours ago. The first map that is shown on the website is Armion, a city in France, and I'll just read out the bit of information that comes alongside the screenshot on the website. It is described as a destructive clash in a majestic city, fight on the streets and squares in French city of Armion during the German Spring Offensive, a struggle in crumbling alleys, a courthouse, around bridges and railways where the British and the Germans desperately seek to control the depths of the city. A very nice description and quite possibly some great close quarters gameplay, lots of infantry stuff and obviously with the picture as well you can see a railway and a train. These trains in World War 1 were heavily armoured, you're going to have lots and lots of guns, you're going to be able to man the guns and operate a wide variety of weapons on board. I'm still quite unsure on how the trains will actually be taken out, whether you can take them out and they'll like fall to pieces on the tracks, whether you can take the tracks out themselves and then the trains roll off them and wreck into whatever buildings and other obstacles are in the way but it's going to be quite cool it'll be quite different to something that we're used to because obviously in BF4 with the trains that are in that such as Propaganda, Gormwood Railway they don't come off the tracks and they're on a set path you can use a couple of guns on them but it won't be as diverse as Battlefield 1 is looking at the minute the second map is called the St. Quintin Scar. This is described as a massive attack on the scarred battlefields of northern France. As part of the Kaiser's battle, the German army throws everything they have to try and break through the British lines. Prepare for truly cataclysmic assaults as you push through the trenches of the St. Quintin Scar. Be the first soldier to break through the fortified lines and assault the pristine village of Trevesi, untouched by the war until now. This excites me quite a lot, massive destruction, wide scale battles, buildings falling down, infantry again, we're going to have tanks, we're going to have the whole lot, and as it says, a massive attack. This could be a really, really big battlefield map. The ones that we saw in the reveal weren't actually that big, it seemed like quite close quarters, the flags were fairly close together, but this one could be on a larger scale. I'm really looking forward to see what that one has to offer. The third map listed is Monte Grappa. Take part in one of the final battles among the peaks of Kings of the Venetian Alps. Just a little hint here, I did mention this in one of my maps. I looked at this and said there would definitely be a map in the Alps. This could be the one that was shown in the trailer and actually there's a screenshot in the background as well linking to that with the planes flying through the Alps. High up above the clouds, a desperate fight for control of mountain forts are challenging even the toughest soldiers. Utilize the massive fort cannons to stop the advancing enemies as they scale up the mountainside. Up here, in this furious struggle, the Austro-Hungarian Empire holds the upper hand, but the Italian army won't stop until they've taken back what's theirs. Two different powers that we're going to see. Austria-Hungarian Empire and the Italian army. It'll be interesting to see as well if there's any subtle differences between the different powers and the soldier models as well. The final one, linking to a screenshot that was leaked quite a while ago actually, is called Empire's Edge. Along the Adriatic coast, a fierce struggle for land and life is taking place. A rugged but fortified shore becomes the battlefield for an empire under siege. What was once a beautiful Mediterranean village, by the coast is now transformed by mechanized war, where waves and dreadnought battleships pound the remains of Italy's great war. This is going to be insane. You have naval warfare, you have the dreadnought, as you can see on screen now. There'll be a little clip from the trailer as well. It's going to be insane. Now, I wonder whether this will really be a great conquest game mode, or it could be something different. Could we see a carrier assault type game mode making use of the dreadnoughts? Could we see rush? Could we see something else? I think this will be a fan favorite, this map, Empire's Edge. And looking at that screenshot as well, it looks superb. We know frostbite and water, anything to do with those two things, look fantastic, especially on Battlefield 4. Look at Operation Mortar, possibly the best looking map I've ever seen on a video game. Never mind, just Battlefield. Stay tuned for this channel for some more information on Battlefield 1 maps. There will be more coming out very soon. I've linked the website down below. I'll have the video out very soon after the update anyway. Thanks for watching. Slap a like on it if you did enjoy and I'll catch you in the next video.